Hello guys, so we're back to another video and today we're going to show you what my dad got from. Prodirect. Prodirect. Oh, I think Prodirect, yeah. Open it. Quickly, what is this? It's a silver box, that must mean one thing and one thing only. It is a Nike Elite Football pair of oh. football boots. What we got? Turn it around, show everyone. We have, first of all, lift it up, lift it up, two up, so the camera. Yeah, so we have, first of all, we've got here, very important to read. Can you read that here? Oh, come on. Legend 8 Elite is crafted from premium kangaroo leather for natural command of the game. Whatever that means. Hold it straight. So, these are Nike Legend Elite F Firm Ground Tiempos and they were £190.99. Oh, so or were money. they? No, because Pro Direct last size, size 6, which was £52 in total with postage because we got a, we got a discount from um, Honey or your brother gave us a discount code. We got how much percent off? Well, not a massive percent. Oh, right. But enough to cover postage, so it's about like £52 in total. Which actually buy the basic £140 cheaper. Let's have a look. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Get that one out. Get that one out. Oh, you can feel that. Feel that. Feel the front of it. The blackout. Should we get that out of the way? The box. What we got? What, no, 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 Ay ay ay! Open that up. Let's have a look at this boot bag. Not the most important thing, but it's nice to have a nice boot. So the string bag. Let's see what it says. Oh, that's nice. Look at the, look at the um, texturing. It kind of the same as you get on the boot, which is really crazy texturing. It's not um, from the views um, from. Uh, look, listen. If you want to know about football boots? Go to Soccer Review Few SR for you. Soccer Reviews for you by uh, Josh. Brilliant Canadian guy, but he knows these football boots and Unisport. They're the people that know football boots. Um, there's another person, I can't remember his name. So, what we've got is Tiempo here, written nicely. That's a beautiful colour. And we've got a bit at the bottom, which is Flyknit, Quad Fit, and ACC, all conditions controlled. So, I mean, when it's wet, it's still really good. So, string bag, put your boots in, put it on your back. It's pretty cool. You don't really do that anyway because you wear the boots size? to the matches. Huh? What size are these? Huh? Six. Size six. So, okay, here's a score. You are currently size five. five. Near enough. So size, <sighs> so, size five, but with trainers and school shoes, meaning there has to be a bit of um, space. Yes. Yeah. So um, with these, you don't want space. You want to be quite snug. They have got a very plush, soft, squishy, beautiful yeah. kangaroo leather, right? And the kangaroo leather, I think, goes all the way to the Does sides, the whole out? lot. Huh? The whole boot inside has come out. Yeah, so let's have a look. Let's have a look at this first. Um, Nike swoosh, nice colorway. What do you think the colorway? Really cool, isn't it? Yeah, so nice. So uh, you just show everyone. Uh, you just show the uh, show all the way around with the boots together. They look so amazing. So it's like the triangle this or something. Like that. Did, did, yeah. Huh? Like they've got a quad fit system i think like you have on the um the phantom gts yeah and then bottom the sole plate nice you can stud see pattern. it's like it's like some conical clear. studs and bladed it's like clear is that clear yeah no it's black isn't it just shiny black no it's clear is it yeah, look. yeah it does look clear doesn't it yeah when you turn it, it's clear, but when you like tilt it, it's black. Oh, I don't know what, but you've got like, you've got this is kind of what you've got on the back of a uh, mercurial here, isn't it? The back part, yeah. Front part, the more conical studs where they're all bladed on a mercurial, so you get good grip, but maybe not as aggressive to grip or, or as traction that you'll get on um, the mercurial. Can you see it? It's like clear, so on the side, it's kind of clear, yeah, yeah. And then it turns like dark at the top. Dark at the top, yeah, well, That's at the bottom. And this says here, what does it say here? It says T. Hyper oh. stability. So um, I don't think, nothing fancy like these fancy, uh, the ones you've got, like, you know, these zoom units that you have in these fancy uh, 
mercurial the mercurial is now and then you have the the bucket carb, is just the, the carbon fiber carbitex uh in the uh speed flows and speed portal adidas ones got champ on the best nice. back in boston in the back what's that bit at the top higher up what's that is that it's just pattern? the night sign just nike around. swoosh yeah Oh, that's a, they say, ah, right, so show, show you hold it and show exactly what it means. So it goes there and the swoosh wraps around. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, the, the back bit looks so nice. ACC, flying it, uh, flying it and ACC. Where's the flying it though? Oh, there, there, maybe the, the tongue. It's, um, it's attached, so uh, it's not one of those flappy tongues. You've got a Nike swoosh on the leather bit of a, the top bit of the tongue. Uh, you put uh, laces, put your standard laces, yeah? It has this like coughing bit. Where? Around there. Oh, the, well, so, the, ah, so it's not quite a collar, but it's a bit higher up, isn't it? Yeah. So the deal is, um, and also, um, if you look in here, it's got Nike grip, so the texture, you can feel, can you feel like it's not just soft plush? Feel the inside, the, in, the insole. Don't necessarily pull it out. You want to pull it out? Show everyone, yeah, pull it out by all means. Yeah, that's a good idea. No, not, not the paper, the insole. The insole. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But the sole was, the, the thing was in it. But it was in the way. So uh, it's all looking pretty promising because no one's used it before because you see the way the laces are tied. Sometimes you get them from um, Pro Direct and someone sent them back and you don't want ones that are sent back. Oh, what have we got in the laces? Anything on... Ah, oh, tell me on the laces, what's that? It says... My oh, eyesight's really bad. Tiempo. Tiempo on the actual, um, yeah, the plastic part of the laces. Uh, let's have a look at that. So what you've got is... That's nice. Uh, a nice cushion bit there. So what's this called here? Poron Performance. Let's see. Urethane. Oh, and it says something so, as well. It says... W W W no nice night football. No, no football. Okay, but this is like kind of like a foam. Foam, so it's like gonna be a bit more comfortable. Uh Nike Tiempo Night Grip. So it is Someone left some insole technology. Someone left some cut material. <laughs> bit of leather. So this will just with your with your grip socks. So we'll do a um we'll do a comparison review of the grip socks when you get a chance. Of the, listen, listen, one second, let's do this. Um, let me just explain this. So we're going, to, we're going to do a view, but if you use grip socks with these, they'll grip really good. And then they, your feet won't slide around. So let's like get um, uh, blisters and get more precision with your ball at your feet. But sizing is important. So we got this making our gamble again, that you'll need this at some point in the future when your feet go size six. That may be as long as next season may yeah. not but you can use these for school if you wanted to or rugby uh if you're gonna go down the rugby route because I'm not sure about it because you went for a rugby Got first game session first big time. first game session that was rugby at school and you got your ankle injured yeah. um that's nothing we did wrong stop that okay um so we're not sure what doing, but if you could wear these for rugby at the moment you're wearing the puma net fits aren't you Yes. The uh, those ones, the, the yellow and black ones. We've done a review of those as well, so you can look for. Maybe we'll do a, a link of a review up there, or down in the description if I can do it right and remember of the uh, of those Puma net fits. Yeah. Right. So uh, that's quite good. It's more better quality than you normally get. So the elites are good boots. The other tempos we've got for the AG stud pattern for Astro, they're good boots. But these are nice. You can tell the quality on these. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, look on the inside of this boot. You yeah, what, what? see some kind of, uh, like the, like the thing, you know, look, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah right, so it it's a grippy around. bit. Oh yeah. No, it's look, a... it goes, it goes in. Look oh, up. quad fit, it's a quad fit system. Yeah. It's a quad fit system, so. It's it meant to lock your feet in. So what they were trying to send reviews, and if you check out, um, if you want to get a really detailed review of the all the tech spec, all the text technical side of it, um, then J Mike at Unisport will do something like that. But he said the issue they had with these was it's neither a tempo of the past, it's not a mercurial, it's not a speed boot, 
it's not a tempo he's trying to do everything but they still rate these boots and these boots be brilliant now the boots don't make the player the football ability of the player makes yeah. the player but these can enhance your football make more confident give you more confidence and make you feel do better you think it was, it's still it's still is it still like 190 thingy or has it gone down no like the 199 90 pounds 99 because they don't they, they they don't have colors they don't have these these are the last generation so you your your pro ones not the elites of your tempos are tempo nines but they're pro because they're about 100 pounds if you're at the elites they're really expensive but they say the pro of the the nine the right latest generation is nearly near enough it's good it won't be as good but it's still good and we wanted the um ag stud pattern didn't we artificial grass artificial grass because they're conical yeah. studs not like these don't ever get these fg don't play on fg firm ground stud boots on astroturf or artificial grass you will twist your knee or your ankle because it will lock and it pop it won't definitely guarantee you're going to twist your knee or your ankle but you're really risking it so don't wear this stud pattern even wear turf tones even wear simple cheap turf tones with little tiny tiny little studs yeah. for grip that's even better for you. And also, I'm not talking about this boot, but yeah. the night store in the Manchester Fort, they don't have the, do you know the shoe, the football boot that have the claims that they have the thingy in it. The zoom unit? Yeah, don't get those. Because they don't get those because they say, yeah, that's nothing I want to say. These new mercurials, they put mercurial zoom on them and that's cheating because the academy don't have a zoom unit or very tiny bit. Yeah. It's unfair because normally the, the the elites have a zoom unit going all around here and and uh, quite far back. Not sure the heel as well. Where the one the uh, academy just put a tiny bit there. I don't think they even put it, but it put like the zoom like it's got the zoom unit in it. But if you want to find out more about that, then check um, Unisport reviews because Unisport reviews are really good and explain all of that stuff. So uh, let's put the intel back on. Do you want to try them on then? Yeah. I know the sizing ain't going to be right, but you just get a bit of a feel for what they're like. They're obviously not going to fit. There is a sizing. There are different sizing things. So sometimes um, they, they say they're true to size, meaning if you're size 8 normally, you're size 8 in these. And if you're size, yeah, and maybe that, you know, for example, here you're size 5 at the moment. They, these may be a small size 6. Yeah. So they still could fit or not take long to fit. And you want to probably try them. So first things first, when you're putting them on, you're going to feel, should feel a lot of comfort. There should be hardly any breaking time, meaning you don't have to get them to soften up. That's what they say. And you, well, you like comfort, don't you? Yes. But I would want you to have speed because you're playing in a position where you have to have speed and decision making and running and everything you have to do. So you have to do lots of running, so central midfield. It is quite far off the end, so you know, I wouldn't necessarily recommend wearing these because you're going to be all like, feet will be sliding around, and when the lever gives a bit, it's going to be really sliding around. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, but don't, don't worry about that. Put, yeah, put them both on because one of the people want to probably eye of an eye of how it feels on your feet. Yeah? Mm hmm. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put it down now because we're doing it in the, our kind of little room where we have our desk and stuff. We call it the study just so we know. But it's not a stud that's anything fancy, trust it's me. It's like not. a kind of a... Where, where everything's kept, yeah. all the books and everything, all the st all the school bags, and there's a desk here. So you're both using yeah. it, but you want a desk with room, doesn't you? So. No, I've never Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, let's just put the laces up. There's a desk in, like, another room. In, in your brother's old room, isn't there? Which yeah. is a small box room. What do you play? That's a bit cla cla not claustrophobic, but it's not very... It's quite a tight little room, isn't it? So... It's yeah. like a... Your eldest brother had that moment for years, didn't he? Yeah. Don't know how he dealt with that. Has it got a little thing to pull this thingy up with? No. Nope. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tie him up. I'm going to quickly do it because it would take 10 years if he does it. Won't you? More like 20. So how did this uh, fly knit feel? you got a bit of fly knit hair feels on the tongue, the fly knit tongue. Feels good. Feels good, comfortable. What's your take on them? Oh. Uh, comfortable? Yes. Uh, more comfortable than the other tempos? Yeah. Really? You're kidding me. Oh yeah, they're more comfortable. These are more comfortable? Mm -hmm. These? Yeah. So you're going to be happy using these? Now, not a lot of young players these would have... Like, these feel like the, the Pumas. Netfits. Puma Netfits. Yep. But I, th I reckon these are better. These are going to be better boots, yeah. These are elite, aren't they? 
And I think Puma, they went a bit too far Are with they that light? one. Are they meant to be light? So you, is it like you can yeah. run fast? Yeah. Well, uh, they're, 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 what they've tried to achieve by this is everything, a boot for everything that is like a speedish boot, speed type boot. But that's what a lot of people complain though, is going away from the, the Nature Mercurius, which comfort and touch, you know, a nice padded touch. And they're saying they're trying to do too much, but it's got no identity, but that's rubbish. If it's good boot, even if it's got no identity, who cares? You want it to be light, you want to be, get off now, have a look. I know your ankle's not great, but let's have a look. So first of all, you've got your school socks on, because commonly you're going to be wearing thick socks. So a piece of advice, if you're going to try boots on, you're going to go like, if you're going to go like the Sports Direct or JD Sports or any sports show, the Adidas store, Nike store, whatever, don't go with thin socks. Don't go with school socks. Go with the socks you're going to be wearing for t your team socks. Mm -hmm. So you can feel how they feel with those on. Bobby, yeah? If you use, if you use um, thin socks, and um they feel about yeah, right they may be too yeah, tight yeah too tight. So, tu Big socks. so turn turn to the towards me Wait, yeah, so, let's, yeah let's have you show the side first so bend your foot forward any heel slippage no no that's considering they're, they're a bit too big so this is the amount of space you have at the front is about a full a bit more than a finger shouldn't be that much okay but it's not massive man it's, it's a bit of volume in there as well isn't there yeah. There's a bit of volume and you could ho hope it would be a bit more snugger there. You'd hope this kind of area, it's a bit, you know, like, you need, it needs to be crimped up a bit. You know, it needs to be a bit, yeah, yeah just yeah. a bit too much volume, they call it. It's a bit too much space. Not too much, but, okay, so let's look at the side. Let's look at the back. Okay. Wait. Go to the back, yeah. Put your foot down. The back looks good. Wait, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. So let's have a look um, in the middle, the inside. Yeah. I look like a clown with these socks on. What I think the designer socks are terrible. Your school yeah. socks, they're terrible. A like bumblebee, ridiculous. What kind of who designed that color? It just should be black. Black, black would have been perfect and perfect socks because they'll get dirty, they get so dirty in the mud. Black, black and maybe a bit like all black all the way here. And, and then a, li yeah, a little bit of, yeah, exactly, a little bit yellow at the top. It looks ridiculous. Um, how do they feel? Good. How do you, um, do you think you're going to be enjoy shooting with these? Not any discomfort with them? How do they feel in the feet? They feel quite light. Yeah. Obviously not like your Puma Ultras, you've got Puma Ultras as well, haven't you? So yeah, we're going to, obviously when you start wearing, we can do maybe a feedback review, maybe a review of all the different boots, and we can rate them, all your boots that you have. They're light. They're light? Yep. Feel really comfortable? Yep. Feel good? Do you think you feel good playing in these? Yep. Okay, so absolute bargain. If you're size six, and you're looking for a pair of comfortable leather boots, because listen guys, forget about who, what, who's wearing what. Messi's wearing this, Ronaldo's wearing that, forget about it. Wear what feels comfortable to you and don't be one of these people that follow everyone. We get the boots that you feel happy and comfortable with. We get the boots that are going cheap and the elite ones. You will buy the latest Mercurials that are just Academy, not very good. They're not very good Academy or club. They're going to be this price. They're going to be this kind of price. Why not get a pair of elite top end boots for the same price? No one's going to look at your boots and say, oh wow, he's such a good player because he's got Messi boots or Ronaldo boots. No. no one gives a damn. No one gives a damn about it. What they give a damn about, people look at, is if you're a good footballer or not. You know, that's what they think about. People think, oh yeah, look at him. He's got some wonderful football boots. I'm not interested. So do yourself a favor. If you're size six or coming close to size six, you're looking for new boots, product sport, if they've got any left, elite football boots, you get your bag, you get your um, boot bag, you get the best quality boots you can get. They look great, nice blackout color. They look subtle. You're not at, like, you go, oh, look at my boots. You're kind yeah. of 
they just look cool and most people say they look cool the pattern looks fantastic it don't put you in, it's no no there's no, so cool. there, there's no grippiness on it the this color is amazing the black and the this it, that, the, 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 it makes it so good that kind of dark blue yeah. and like the nike sign and the nike swoosh there it looks just amazing they are boots yeah that are really cool but they're boots of a thinking person. They're boots of a smart person. What do you want out of boot? Performance or what do you want first? Comfort or performance? Comfort. Comfort, yeah. yeah if you're running around a pitch and you can think about these boots are killing my feet and they're uncomfortable, we'll never kick the ball, it hurts. You think, what's the point? You're thinking more about the boots than playing your football. Performance, you want performance, they perform well. Most boots perform pretty well if they're pro or elite or even academy. But can you imagine a pair of elite boots at the same price as the latest Mercurials Academy or Club Academy? They're going to be Academy ones going to be about fifty pounds. These were fifty pounds with delivery. Sure, I, we didn't get to try them on until today, but we know they're going to be good. Yeah. We know they're going to be good and feel comfortable. They feel right, and you feel right in your feet. Yeah. Do they feel like they need breaking in? Or if get... you see like a shoe, a boot that's really good, half price or something like that. Just get it. Just get and it. And then just wait until like when your size up and then you just wear it then. Yeah. And then you don't need to buy anything else. Well the other things. thing is as well, is a lot of the time when they do the next generation, the next generation boot they haven't done hardly anything too. They did it with Puma Netflix. They said it's not worth getting the newest one because they're not hardly thinking any difference. It's a different design. Just a different design or a few tweaks for the sake of tweaking. So they want to sell more units. They want to sell more units. Everyone gets on the bandwagon and says, Oh, it's new boots, latest boots, latest colorway. Forget about latest colorway. Who cares? They're probably going to be covered in mud anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so who cares? So get the boots feel comfortable with you. Get the boots that feel right to you. Get the boots that fit your feet well. Oh, it is a bit of a gamble with this. You can always return them. You always return them if they're not right. Um, but, you yeah, know, which is a faff and a hassle. But now Pro directly free returns because I'm I obviously not just because me other people would mention I said to them years ago why didn't you free returns you get a lot more custom you're trying to be able to return the boots everyone no one charges just absorb that cost you get more customers and they now they do a thing we can print off on Royal Mail and return them so okay what do you think happy yeah you have to try them on the pitch anyway so we'll give a feedback review at some point whenever you start wearing them and we'll go from there but the Puma a Legend Nine Puma Tempo so. Nike Tiempo Legend 9, the latest ones, in the pro version. They're far cheaper than the Elite. Obviously not as fancy as the Elite, but they're near enough the same. That's what Josh and Jay might say. They're near enough the same. Get them, they're brilliant. You love wearing them, don't you? As yes. Well. Yeah. Okay, so should we finish now? Yes. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.